Hey everybody, it's me, Pam Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I have a story to share with you, but it's going to have a crafty side, okay? I know I haven't been on here in a while, and I have, I've been uh, texted with a couple of my, my YouTube friends on here, and, that, and they were wondering when I was going to get back with a video. Well, here it is. Okay, I'm going to put something in front of you, and I'm going to tell you this story. You see this? It says, Letters to My Grandchild. Right now, read later, treasure forever. See the way it's put together? And inside, it has these envelopes that you write in, uh, seal it, and then tell the child when it's to be open, and this is what it's about. And it has little flaps here that go back into, the, into this spine. And like this. But the, the, the back does it too. And it's full of these little... See, these are what you seal these with. Okay. And does this too. And it's full of these envelopes. Okay. All right. Here's the story. You see how it's made? Okay. Um, my daughter's girlfriend uh, asked me if I would help her replicate this. My uh, my my son and daughter, um, their fam the you know, their father's side of the family all gets together for a gathering and does their Christmas like a week after Christmas or thereabouts. So this Saturday is their gift exchange. They all drew number na numbers names and they, um, you know, one person. Of course, my um, daughter's girlfriend, she drew my kid's stepmother. Now, backstory on my kid's stepmother. This is what she said when, when they they suggested uh, drawing names. She said, well, we can do that, but that's not going to stop me from buying for everybody. That's the kind of woman she is. I couldn't have handpicked a better stepmother for my kids. Although my kids are in their 40s, it's still important for them to have a good relationship with their father's wife. And I have a good relationship with her. She's a wonderful person. She's also a twin. And her sister, same way. Teachers, best friends, twins, sisters, you know, best friends. Uh, they went to school together. They roomed together. Teachers, you know, they became teachers together. And they teach elementary school. Well, uh, my kid's stepmother's sister got cancer. And she died a couple of years ago. It was devastating for my kid's stepmom. And, um, you know, it, it really devastated the whole family. I mean, I was only an acquaintance of hers, but it was devastating for the whole family. So this is what my uh, daughter's girlfriend got for herself. It says letters to my grandchild because she became a grandmother a little over a year ago. Well, also my kid's stepmother, stepmother's niece, the daughter of her deceased sister, had a little boy a little over a year ago also and um my sister my sister my daughter's girlfriend wanted to replicate this only put great nephew she asked me to help her what she did was she got in on um some sort of uh, program and she recreated the envelopes i we just have to cut these down a little bit but there's the flaps and there's even cut lines i don't know if you can see that but there are cut lines right like right there and you cut out this piece and you cut out this piece and she created but she only she did 11 of them this one was her prototype she forgot the flap on the side but and these are her seals that she's gotten but she didn't know how to bind them so she got that far and i'm thinking whoo I might have to use her later because she can do this stuff in the computer. Yeehaw. Okay. So I took the measurement. Her envelopes are like a quarter inch shorter. And they're not as heavy, which I forgot to take into account when making the spine. This was my prototype for the for it. Um, I didn't like the way it bent here. I didn't leave enough room. Um, it started to crinkle. Of course, this is that cheap blue paper. 
but I showed, I sent her a picture of the prototype and she said, I love it. The blue's fine. Great. I said, are you sure you don't want to change the color? No, I love the blue. I think she didn't want to cause me any trouble and just wanted me to use this one. But whenever I put the two pieces together and I put the thing down, I got too close to the edge on that. It's right there at that bend that we cannot have. You know that, right? Last night I got, I got in here and I did another one much better. Um, the seam is not right on the edge, close enough. I extended these to where they bent a little bit better because, you know, if you're going to open this up and write a letter, you know, it's going to take a little bit of wear here. And this is like canvassy like stuff almost. So I just got a text from her while I'm doing this video. She said she's on her way over because she said, she, I said, you want me just to put it together? And she said, I'd like to watch you put it together. So anyway, I found this paper, postage paper out of the newsworthy stack um, from um, Paper Studio, and it was thin, which was great. This is a, you can see it's a, a honey crunch, something, medley crunch. Anyway, it's a cereal box, and I've covered this, but on the inside, I need to put another one, and it goes, it goes all the way down in under to, you know, cover this up. So that's where we are. So this, you know, and then it had this. And then I have to figure out something. I'm going to ask her when she gets here what she wants to put here. So I'm going to hurry up because she, she's about 20 minutes away and she's on her way. And maybe she'll let me do a quick video of this before she leaves so I can show you if it turned out okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Wish me luck. I never attempted this before. Bye.